Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode from Las Vegas, Nevada. The first deaths of the new year of 2024. Let's check it out. Suspect reportedly kills his own mother, steals three cars, including a police cruiser, then kills an innocent bystander, all before he is gunned down by officers. And this all unfolded during a violent rampage this morning, creating crime scenes across the valley. Our police say the suspect's mother was killed near Bermuda and Warm Springs. That's also where they say the suspect opened fire on officers and stole an unoccupied patrol car. He would steal two more cars in the far Southwest Valley, killing one of the drivers in the process. This is the video capturing the scene where it all came to an end. Metro police say the suspect died of a gunshot wound after a standoff near Durango and Agate. And Fox 5's Mike Allen is there live tonight to take us through the deadly rampage. Mike. Yeah, Joe, Jacqueline, after the crime spree came to an end at Durango and Agate here in the Southwest Valley, Fox 5 spoke with neighbors and they told us they're shaken up and they also have a lowered sense of security right now. Nowadays, you can't feel safe anymore. People living nearby a crime spree across the Southwest Valley are reacting. I'm scared. I'm still traumatized. After three people, including the suspect, were killed. I don't feel safe with the guns anymore and my kids. I'm a single mom. Metro police say it started when they received reports of a shooting near El Dorado and Placid near the family home of the suspect. Around uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, we uh, heard gunshots going off, multiple gunshots. I heard three what sounded like to be gunshots. Fox 5 obtained audio. And see, the bad part about this video is when they're located, it's considered a good crime area. They, they, they don't have a lot of crime there. It's not like they're down there in North Las Vegas or the West Las Vegas where there's a high rate of crime. So th that's why they're shocked. But this, now that we have so many visitors and so many people that have to come in to our city because our city is so money hungry to have people come in and put their money in the casinos that they don't care about the crime that they brought to us, let alone the Raiders. Video from a neighbor's doorbell camera capturing gunfire. Police say after officers arrived, the suspect stole a patrol car and took off, heading west. Once the suspect reached Warm Springs and Durango, police say he stole a truck and took off again, ending up near Blue Diamond, where the suspect got out of the truck and pointed his gun at a person in an SUV. Police fired their weapons when they saw this, but the suspect was able to steal the car and drive off. Then police report the suspect continued on Durango to Windmill, where he got out of the SUV and pointed his gun at the driver of a van. Officers heard... Oh, he seemed like he just had death on his breath. That's what we call it when a person is determined to get themselves killed. He had death on his breath. But like I said, this is the first casualties of the 2024 year a single gunshot and then saw the suspect removing the driver from the van. That person was pronounced dead at the scene. As the suspect was driving away, police fired their weapons at him. He was able to drive several blocks south to Agate Avenue where he stopped, having been injured. Medical personnel responded and the suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. For people living nearby the deadly crime spree in an area they never expected to feel unsafe. We're in a suburban neighborhood. You never expect anything like this to transpire, but now it's starting to happen a lot frequently. They say they're now reckoning with the specter of gun violence in their backyard. I feel scared going to the grocery store. I feel going to a gas station because you're just thinking about it in the back of your mind. Like, am I going to get shot? Is somebody going to shoot at me? We're expected to learn the names of the officers involved and also expecting body cam footage of the incident to be released in the coming days. Reporting live tonight from the Southwest Valley at Durango and Agate, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, Mike, thanks. And this is Metro's ninth. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <clears throat> that's just yeah, that's the world we're living in. This is Las Vegas. You know, it's normally a tourist city. But the tourists it seem like they've, they've come with heavy hearts once they lose their money. <laughs> that ain't funny, but, you know, this, that's the only way you can make a joke out of it. Well, thank you for joining me again. I'm your host, NJW. This is Stutter Pot TV, and we're going to bring you more and more episodes like this. So tune in and hit the subscribe button for me. Thank you.